everybody. Welcome to today's segment of Witty Where You Are. My name is Rowley. I'm the STEM Education Manager here at the Witty Museum. And I have with me today an expert on today's activity. What's your name? Shelby. Everybody say hi to Shelby. And today we're going to make something really cool. We are going to make... Flower Play-Doh. Absolutely. We are making Play-Doh with flowers that we found in nature. Are you ready? All right, let's go. So some of the things you're gonna need in order to make Play-Doh is going to be flour, cream of tartar, salt, oil. We're using a vegetable oil today. And can you hold up those flowers? Some flowers that we picked from my backyard this morning. We need about two handfuls of flowers. Now, the first thing we need to do, we are going to extract the color from those flowers. So our friend Shelby is going to take the stems off of the flowers. And in the meantime, I heated up about two cups of hot water and we're going to put it in our blender. You got all the flowers de-stemmed? Fantastic, let's put them in there. And then we want to extract that color, so we need to break up those flower petals. So you hit that pulse button three times. All right, we're gonna let it sit for a moment, and we're gonna hit it another two times. All right, now we want to let this steep for a moment and also let the water cool off enough so it'll be good for us to handle. So while we do that, I think we need to start adding the other ingredients for our Play-Doh into our big bowl. So, we need to measure in two thirds of a cup of salt. And I'll shake it a little. Sometimes salt clumps up a little in its container. There we go. Is that a third? Yes. All right, put that in there. And let's go for the next one. There we go. Put that in. Then we want to put in two to three tablespoons of cream of tartar. So this here is cream of tartar. We'll put in two tablespoons today. And I'm gonna open this to make it a little easier to measure. We're gonna do this over the bowl because it'll probably spill while we do it. There's one. And two. And then we need to put in four tablespoons of baby oil or vegetable oil like we're using today. One. Do you remember how many I said? Two. Well, I think this one was four. So that's two. There's, whoop, that's why we're doing this over four. four. There we go. Four. You said four twice. Four. Yep, that's okay. We know that was four tablespoons. And then I want you to start stirring that. And while you stir that, I'm gonna give this another quick pulse. <laughs> We use one color of flour because that gives us one color to mix in our Play-Doh. So we're gonna just pour all of that in there. Keep mixing, keep mixing. Just like that. Fantastic. And let's come to the other side. Great, get all those flowers in there and mix that up. So it's all mixing together. And now, is that Play-Doh yet? No. No. So we need to add some flour for our Play-Doh. Now I have a very important question for you, Miss Shelby. Yeah. Do you think this Play-Doh is gonna be good to eat? No. No, this is not an edible Play-Doh. This is a Play-Doh for playing, not for eating. Okay, keep it going. And we're gonna keep adding flour. It's gonna get really sticky. It's gonna get clumpy. We're just gonna keep adding flour a little bit at a time until it's just the right texture to play with. All right, I'm gonna add more flour and then it's gonna be time to start mixing with our hands. You ready to get messy? Yes. It's still not quite a beautiful color, but again, as we add the flour, the color kind of settles out a bit. All right. It's getting hard. Well, you know what that means. It's time to get our hands in there. Let's go. We're gonna keep mixing it and turning it around. 
And the nice thing is the oil helps keeping it from getting too sticky so it doesn't adhere to our hands as much. Well, after lots and 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 lots of mixing, our Play-Doh is ready to play with. You wanna show everybody what that looks like? So our Play-Doh came out with a little bit of a brown tint to it, which was kind of cool because we used whole wheat flour instead of white flour. So there are lots of really cool variations you can get when you adjust the ingredients by just a tiny bit. So it might even be something fun to play with and experiment with at home. Try different variations on the recipe. And then, you know what? That's ready to play with. So I think we should play with it. Here we go. We have some Play-Doh. I'm gonna play with some Play-Doh. What are some things you like to do with Play-Doh? Um, like you like to make long snakes? You can start working on making some snakes. I like to see if I can spell my name out with Play-Doh. Or sometimes I'll go outside and find cool things to make impressions. There are so many cool things you can do with Play-Doh. So we're gonna let you all go on and try this on your own. Come back and check on our website. We'll be posting the recipe and possibly a few ideas for things you can do with your Play-Doh. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the next segment of Witty Where You Are. Have a good one. You wanna be back? Yeah. <laughs>